hello friends welcome to crack it csc and in this video we will be learning few more examples on fractional knapsack and later on i will let you know the time complexity of fractional knapsack so without wasting time let's try to solve this example as well so that we can have a clear understanding that how to solve any kind of questions based on fractional knapsack right so the questions are we will be having the number of objects we are having seven objects and this 24 is the knapsack capacity m m is nothing but the knapsack capacity so we are having seven different objects and the profit and weight is associated with each of the object right so what is the first step what was the first step i told you in the last video that what we have to do is we have to find out the profit by weight ratio we have to find that right? we have to find out the profit by weight ratio so if you divide so this is 75 i just framed the questions so if i took 70 that will be a different answer so this is 75 so if 75 is divided by 7 the profit by weight ratio will be nothing but 10.71 40 divided by 3 is 13.33 80 divided by 9 is 8.8 .8. 13 divided by 2 is 15 25 divided by 3 is 8.33 45 divided by 4 is 11.25 and 35 divided by 3 is 11.25 Six, six. so this is the profit by weight ratio now what we have to do next is we have to solve this particular profit by weight ratio in the particular sorted manner so if I sort this particular thing it will be 15 first 13.33 will be next so 15 is done 13.33 is done next will be 11.66 then 11.25 10.71 8 .8, 8.8 and 8.3 so this is the sorted sequence of profit by weight ratio so now let me write down the objects as well so the 15 is nothing but for object 4, 13.33 object 2, 11.66 object 7, 11.25 object 6, 10.71 object 1, 8.8 is object 3 and 8.3 is object 5. So, so this is the sequence that we have. Now what we have to do is we have to take the particular profit and subtract from the knapsack as per the weight so the knapsack capacity is 24 and profit as of now is 0 firstly we have to take 15 15 is object 4 so 24 what is the weight 2 subtracted 2 it will be 22 the profit will be added the profit is of 30 so 0 plus 30 so after taking this object 4 the remaining capacity of the knapsack is 22 and the profit is 30 now similarly go to the next sorted in the sequence go to the next sorted object which is 13.33 that is object 2 so now the remaining capacity is 22 and I have to subtract 3 from 22 because the weight is 3 so this will be 19 profit will be added up 30 plus 40 is the profit this will be 70 similarly go to the next one 11.66 the weight is 3 19 minus 3 is nothing but 16 profit will be added up profit is 35 so 70 plus 35 is nothing but 105 right and so this one is done 11.25 move on to this particular thing object number 6 so 16 minus 4 the weight is 4 this is nothing but 12 and the profit will be added 
45 will be added this will be 150 now this is done go to the number 1 the weight is 7 we have 12 we can take it completely so 12 minus 7 is equal to 5 profit will be added up 150 plus 75 is equal to 225 now we are done up to this the next element the profit by weight ratio of next is 8.8 .8. 8.8 .8 point is of object 3 but here you can see one thing that the remaining capacity is 5 and the total weight is 9 so what we have to do is we have to take 5 by 9th out of these 9 weight so what it will be we will be taking 5 by 9 out of 9 so this will be 0 now profit has to be added this is 225 plus 5 by 9th what is the total profit 8 point uh, sorry okay 80 so we have to multiply it with 80 and if you sort solve this out this will be nothing but 6 uh, 269.4 it is 269.4 so see, this is the final profit this is the complete profit when the knapsack is has been filled now let me write down the sequence that how much has been taken which has been taken which has not been taken so as there are seven different items so i am taking seven values of x now i have to fill the values as per the observation so what we have observed that x1 x1 is nothing but object 1 has been taken completely this 10.7 we have completely consumed and uh, put that into knapsack so the value of these x will be 0 to 1 it cannot be less than 1 it cannot be more than sorry it cannot be less than 0 and it cannot be more than 1 fractions are allowed so fractions can be there as well so if we have taken it completely we will be writing 1 if we have not taken a single amount from that particular item then we will write 0 and if we have taken that in fraction we have to write fractions that's it so we have taken the object 1 completely we have taken the object 2 completely the object 3 we have taken the object 3 partially how much we have taken 5 by 9 so we can write 5 by 9 here you can see that the value lying between the 0 to 1 so this is the case with the fractional knapsack x4 so we have consumed x4 completely so 1 here x5 we have not taken x5 so therefore the value is 0 we have not taken x5 so the value is 0 x6 is consumed completely and x7 is consumed completely so in the questions they can ask you that whether we have included the element x4 or not whether we have included the element x5 what how much part of x3 we have included these kind of questions can be asked in gate or NPSU's exam so you have to practice such questions now let's move on to the next thing which is the time complexity of this particular knapsack problem so how we can find out the time complexity so what we are doing from a starting we are having a particular question right firstly what we do is we find out the profit by weight ratio for each of the item or object so if there are n item or n object we have to find the profit by weight ratio for all of those n item and the cost to find profit by weight ratio is nothing but constant because there is just a division operator so we are just dividing it it will take constant amount of time but if we perform that particular operation for n number of items what it will be the profit by weight ratio finding of this will be order of n for the complete n items or n objects now this is the first step what we are doing secondly what we are doing is we are doing nothing but we are sorting the particular sequence and as I told you in divide and conquer that the sorting will take n log n even the best algorithm you take it will take n log n so this is nothing but big of n log n 
so finally what it will be this plus this out of these two this is the maximum so we are taking the approximate value so the time complexity order of n log n this is the time complexity of knapsack problem because after sorting we are just doing nothing but we are taking each out one by one it will be negligible so the time complexity of fractional knapsack is order of n log n and that of 0 by 1 knapsack may be same or may be different i will tell you that in dynamic programming so don't worry about that as well so next video will be on job sequencing with deadline and one by one we will we will be covering each and every application of greedy technique then we will move on to dynamic programming so if you have not subscribed my channel just subscribe my channel press the notification icon as well so that you can receive the notification for all the new videos that i'm uploading please do one thing please give a thumbs up and do comments if you really found this video helpful because your appreciation works like a booster for me and i stay motivated to give you more out of these videos so thank you very much for your support keep supporting keep learning have a great day